Hi guys, this is Jason here from the Nathaniel School of Music and in this lesson, let's explore the difference between the swing time feel and the straight time feel. Two very important ways to construct music, especially from the rhythmic perspective or the rhythmic foundation. So in the introduction video, I basically played you blues music, right? Where I took like a standard thumping bass line and I kind of played it over a 12 bar cycle but you may have observed a radical change in rhythmic perspectives. I would have played initially in this way and then move towards this sort of environment, right? So this is what we call as the straight feel and this is what we call as the swing feel. So let's just see how we can count all this, feel all this with a ton of examples. First off, the straight feel is derived around the concept of dividing the beat into two equal pieces, what we call as quavers. So if you divide the beat into two parts, you're going to get one and two and three and four and right and two and three and four and one. So what's happening here is the beat which always will last for X amount of time, let's say one second or half a second or dependent on the tempo of your music, be it 60 BPMs, 80 BPM, 90 BPM or whatever, the beat flows along with that BPM. But when you divide the beat, you start going inside the beat, so to speak. So you start getting these subdivisions. So if I divide the beat into two equal units or place the subbeat at the 50% mark, I'm going to get these eighth notes or quavers as we call it. So it'll be one, this would be the pulse or one, two, three, four. And if I start getting inside that pulse, I'll be getting two and three quavers. One and two and three and four and one. So now that I'm dividing the beat into two equal units, exactly at the 50% mark, we have more options, we have more points in which to play our music. Having said that, you don't have to divide the beat where the second or the sub beat is exactly at the 50% mark. It could be slightly later. And that sort of rather lazier feel where the sub beat just delays slightly will, will end up being called a swing. In order to feel swing, a very simple way is to basically feel triplets and then knock off the middle division. So what I mean by that is you divide a beat into three, one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a, and then you don't do the middle one. So it's sort of triplets, da -ga da -da -ga da -da -ba -da -da -ba -da, but without the middle one. So how will that be? Da -da -da -ba -da -da -ba -da -da -ba right so you're sort of still feeling the triplets but then you're not playing the middle division one and that and of the triplet you're not playing so one and so if I demonstrate that on the keyboard Let's take a C chord for now. This is C major played in a swing, also what we call as eighth note swing because the eighth note or the quaver got swung, it got moved a bit. Okay? One, two. So if I do all triplets, it'll be rather busy and a little bit aggressive, right? One, two. One, two. Three, four. But now if I don't play that middle division, it ends up being a swing feel. One and which you can actually count as one and two and three and four and da 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 or however you want as long as you feel it correctly. So the difference between that and the straight is very very obvious now, right? The straight feel divided the beat into two equal units. The swing feel divided the beat into three equal units but did not play the middle one. While in the straight feel we feel both the one and the end obviously because there's no other division to feel. So straight feel with a C major chord for instance 
3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 dividing by 2 now let's try dividing by 3 1 triplet 2 2 triplet 3 triplet 4 triplet 1 ta 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 right so you need to think triplets ta ta ra ta ra ta ra ta ra ta ra pa ba pa ba pa ba pa 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 now what am i doing straight pa pa ba pa 50% division pa 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 and now swing right so i feel it's a very important concept to know while you're writing music it could break out of what you would normally do or something monotonous which you may end up constantly chugging on your guitar or keyboards and what not it could break out of that if you keep doing swing you would come back to straight and so on what you might have observed with the music i just played was the fact that the tempo ended up remaining the same isn't it same tempo so the speed of the beat does not vary what happens is what you do inside the beat right guys so using instruments like the guitar or the bass or other stringed instruments you can also explore eighth notes and the swing feel as well using a different way using just the mechanics of yourself playing the guitar which is in this instance going down stroke or going up stroke so it's just natural for the hand right you go down up down up so what i'd like you to do is count eighth notes in this fashion whenever you go down you're going to be on the on beat or beat 1 2 3 or 4 of the bar whenever you go up you're going to be at those ands one and two and three and four and let's just practice that with basically a muted feel in your left hand that means you're not going to do much just sort of not playing any chord so you go one and two and three and four and one and little slower three and four and one two and three and four and down up so every up stroke is your and and every down stroke is the 1 2 3 4 one and 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 four, right 1 2 3 4 one and two and practice it like that and then you could also practice your swing feel the same way with a muted uh, guitar wherein you go 1 2 3 4 1 is that third triplet okay so now let's say using a chord like the g major chord for instance you could perhaps just play it and play both both beats first of all the down stroke and the up stroke which tonally sound very different change it to swing straight what's nice is also you don't have to play all the divisions you can be like one and two i'm muting it actually at the two right Okay, let's develop a rhythm and try to practice straight and swing around that. Down, down, up. Say I'm not going down again. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, so there are a lot of off beats without any down beats, and that's what makes it interesting. I guess it's not like. very monotonous or very sort of forceful kind of thing where you play all the divisions now uh, making a rhythm pattern is all about playing and not playing to play or not to play that is the question so you go from there to you could try this rhythm out this is a very common rhythm on the guitar so i'm holding the g chord and going
get more acquainted you could also perhaps try singing something if you'd like you see how i sneaked in the c chord there which is very close to the g so you go So that was a straight eighth note guitar rhythm, which you could now. evolve or change into a morph into the swing rhythm which will also sound very very catchy let's first do all rhythm pattern swing versus which i did earlier right and with a few more things like a percussive approach towards the guitar you can make it sound very reggae you can sort of make it a little bit more percussive and so on and so forth so if i take let's say this riff So basically this Michael Jackson song is pretty much on eighth straight isn't it 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 so if my head is moving like this dag 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 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and and what do we do for swing well we start first feeling it differently dum pa dum pa dum pa dum pa dum pa bum maybe you could start by singing it dum pa dum pa dum pam pa dum pam pam pa bum pa bum pam pa bum versus pam pa bum pa bum tam ba bum pam also straight music is more for rock songs you know like this michael jackson song obviously is with swing feel a bit lazy and you kind of want to sway i guess right i'm not a dancer but at least i move a bit differently for sure whether it's straight or swing so you go pam pa bam pa bam pam pa bam pam and also what happens with swing is you tend to feel the 2 and the 4 of the bar a lot more than the 1s and the 3 then down 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 versus swing time but 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 right so what was once straight could now become Right, I apologize if I'm spoiling one of your childhood favorite songs, but I I really need to show you the difference. Okay, so back to straight. Right, swing. Right, it's a very very radically different change, isn't it? Right, so let's try one more song. Perhaps let's try something heavier, maybe something metal-ish. For this Metallica song, I hope. So, if you see this count. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Right? Bam, 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 bam. One and two. 
So very straight as most rock and metal will be. Right, so if I have to swing this. Right, you get that very... Yeah, you get you get a completely different vibe, I guess. Right, guys. So believe it or not, there are quite a few pop songs which have swing. Beatles have done it. MJ, Michael Jackson has done it. Lot of artists actually, even A. R. Rahman has done it. So you could also do an exploration where you take a song which is swing and try to make it into straight. For example, you could take a Beatles song. is actually very swing isn't it one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and right and two and ta ta da ta so how do we straighten the thing now think of it sort of like one hairstyle you know you're just messing it up completely you know so you go ta ta da 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 straighten it okay swing Yeah you could take songs which are swing or maybe to maybe something straight So, a song which is already straight, you could try to swing it. A song which is already swing, you could straighten it. So, really try to feel these feels, if you will. You know, you have the straight world and you have the swing world. And once you have really got to terms with these two time fields, you can really understand music a lot better. For starters, you play a song and decide or listen. This should be one of the first jobs you should do. stuff we sometimes do would be what is the scale of the song or the key um but you should also figure this out the pulse these basic things or is it swing or is it straight very very important if you ask me right guys again this is jason here from the nathaniel school of music if you found the video useful please subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't already and share the video with all your musician friends and also leave us a comment if you'd like to learn something new cheers